Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Now today we are doing my early 2021-2022 League One predictions and I tell you what, this is going to be tough. There's some big, big clubs in League One this season so let's get into this. So then guys, before we go through each team, let's just break it down for you. I've split this into five categories. Starting at the top, we have top six, so teams I think will make the top six. Then we have top 12, the team set to just miss out on the playoffs maybe, but to make a top 12 finish. Then we have mid-table, the team's just below 12th place. Then we have 16th to 20th, the team's just surviving this season. And then below that, we have the bottom four, the four clubs I'm predicting to get relegated this season. Now guys, I do know it is early and a lot can change. I will do my official predictions in July but uh, let's do this based on how each team finished last season let's go so then we start with crew Alexandra down the bottom here and I tell you what I've got to give them a lot of credit for last season they obviously came up from League 2 before last season and I don't think I expected them to do too well I think I might have even predicted them to get relegated but they proved me wrong they did really well last season as the first season in League 1 goes and I think they finished around 12th so do you know what? I'm going to back them to have another good season here, Crew. I think they've got some good players and they are going in the right direction. So I'm going to say Crew Alexandra make the top 12. Like I say, guys, my predictions might change before the start of the season, depending on if they make any signings and stuff like that. But things are looking good for Crew, so I'll put them in the top 12. Now next up is Burton Albion, a club who just survived last season. Obviously, they were in the relegation battle for quite a while, and then towards the end, they did climb away from it. And I think they finished around 15th or 16th, quite, quite a few points above the bottom four in the end. I'm not sure with Burton Albion, obviously, they're not the biggest club in the world, but they have overachieved in recent years, obviously, let's not forget they got to the championship not, not that long ago, uh, and I do like them, I think they're a decent club, but for me, I'm going to say Burton Albion get relegated, I think they've been flirting with danger, especially last season, they were kind of lucky towards the end that they stayed up, they could prove me wrong, like I say, if they bring in some good players as well, they could definitely do better than that, they could even finish mid-table or something, but I'm going to say Burton Albion are the first club I'm going to say will get relegated. Next up then we have Sunderland and for me this is an easy one. Sunderland make the top six. Now I'm not guaranteeing that they'll make the top two but I do think they'll at least make the top six. I think Sunderland are a massive club. They're just way too big for League One and uh, they're just stuck aren't they? I think they're coming really close. Obviously their first season in League One they finished in the playoffs and lost in the playoff final. The season after they missed out on the points per game. They finished around eighth. And then last season they lost in the playoffs again to Lincoln City in the playoff semi-final. So it's just fine margins for Sunderland. But if they keep doing what they're doing and keep finishing in the top six, you do feel like they will return to the championship at some point. And I am going to back them to make the top six next season. Now next up is Cambridge United. Obviously a team that came up from League Two last season. And do you know what? A team to keep your eye on. I thought they were quite decent last season. And uh, stunned quite a few people by getting promoted. I think last season I predicted them to be about mid-table in League Two. So fair play to them. They've got some decent players. And do you know what? I think they're going to stay up. I think I'm going to put them just to stay up, 16th to 20th. They could do one better and maybe even get mid-table. But seeing as it's their first season in League One, I think they will finish just above the bottom four. Like I say, I don't know what to expect from Cambridge. If they do what they did last season, this season in League One, I think they're going to be a real force and they're going to surprise a few people. I think they're going to stay up. Next up, we've got another team who came up from League Two. It's Cheltenham. I'm going to put them in the same category as Cambridge. I think they also deserve to get promoted and I think they will stay up again. I think Cheltenham are a decent club. They were knocking on the door a few years running. They kept finishing in and around that sort of top 10 in League Two and uh, thoroughly deserve to go up in the end. I thought they were really good. Well worth the promotion in the end. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how they get on in League One. I think they're going to stay up. Next up then we have Sheffield Wednesday, a massive club that came down from the Championship, arguably one of the biggest clubs in this division again. Uh, now it's really hard to predict these because I'm not sure what's going to happen in the next month or two before the season starts. Like I say, this is early predictions, I might change my mind before the season starts, but there's obviously been problems off the pitch and the players haven't been getting their pay packets, but I think if they can sort that out, if they can have a good summer, then Sheffield Wednesday will definitely be a force in League One next season and I'm also going to back them to make the top six. They're just a massive club. If they can hang on to some good players and bring in some real quality as well, which they probably can because they're a big club, then I think they are going to be too good for League One and make the top six just like Sunderland. Next up then we have Fleetwood Town, obviously a club that seems to be punching above their weight in League One. I'm going to back them to make a top 12 finish again. I think Fleetwood... They've been, uh, they've been pretty solid since they've been in League One. They've had a few seasons where they flirted with promotion. Obviously, they made the playoffs a couple seasons ago. 
and uh, I think they're going to be in the top half this season. They could even sneak into the top six. They are a really well-run club. Let's remember, they are a very small club, very small fan base, and not long ago they were in the National League, and you know even below that they were just a non-league team. So they've done really well. They've consolidated themselves in League One, and who knows? It could just be one miracle season that gets them into the championship. But I think Fleetwood are going to be solid, and I'm going to say the top 12 for Fleetwood. Next up then we have Bolton Wanderers, and I'm also going to pop them in the top 12. They've obviously come back up from League Two, and I'm really glad that they did because they're a club that have been through a lot. As a Coventry fan, I would know what it's like. It's absolutely horrible going down the divisions. Let's not forget Bolton Wanderers were a Premier League club not that long ago, and they went all the way down to League Two, which is just horrible. But hopefully they are on the way back, and uh, yeah, they seem to be on a bit of an upward trajectory now. After last season, I think they will be quite solid in League One. They're obviously a big club, well supported, and I think they're going to be solid in their return to League One. Like I say, I think Bolton Wanderers will make the top 12. Next up then, we have Wigan Athletic. Now, they didn't have the best season last year. They're obviously a big club for this level with real potential. They won the FA Cup nine years ago. It's hard to see where Wigan are going to finish. They seem to be a bit of a wild card. They're all over the place. I'm going to say that Wigan are just going to do a little bit better than last season and push on to mid-table this season. A club with real potential, a club that could prove me wrong, could get promoted, but... Last season, they could have got relegated, a real strange club. But I think they're a club that have got potential to be mid-table, if not higher. Next up, you've got Oxford United, a team that have finished in the playoffs for the last couple of seasons. They're a really solid club. Uh, now, I think they will be in the top half again. Whether they'll make the top six, I'm not sure. I think they could, you know. But I'm going to just put them in the top 12 for now. I might change my predictions next month. But I definitely think they'll make the top half. They could sneak into the top six. Like I say, I'll change my predictions maybe next month but yeah definitely on an upward trajectory Oxford and if they keep doing what they're doing keep finishing in that top half then it's a matter of time before they get into the championship obviously last year they missed out on the playoff final because they lost to Blackpool 6-3 on aggregate in the end in the playoff semi-finals the season before they lost in the playoff final to Wickham so if they keep finishing up and around there with the you know real quality players that they've got I think Oxford could get promoted anytime soon now next up you've got Plymouth Argyle obviously a club that I'd love to see back in the championship or even make a Premier League debut one day Plymouth are uh, obviously representing the South West and I don't think we've ever had any clubs from Devon or Cornwall that have ever made it to the Premier League or the First Division so I think it'd be great to see Plymouth get promoted. Last season they were okay, finished just below mid-table. This season I'm going to say they will finish mid-table. They've, they've got a decent fan base actually. I'd like to see Plymouth go up. I think they could finish in the top half to be honest but I'll put them mid-table for now because that's roughly a little bit above where they finished last season. So I think Plymouth could be mid-table but could be a team that surprise a few people next season. Next up then you've got Portsmouth Football Club now for me this is another easy one top six for Portsmouth they're just a very well run club and uh, they were a bit unfortunate last season the, the amount of unlucky things that happened to them obviously Kenny Jackett didn't turn out to be the right manager they lost the Papa John's trophy final to Salford uh, I think it was on penalties they lost in the end and uh, obviously they just missed out on the final day of making the top six as well so really frustrating but I do believe that with the Cowleys Portsmouth have got something really going on and uh, if they can get fans back into Fratton Park they can get that stadium rocking it's one of my favourite grounds if not my favourite in this division there's a lot of big clubs in League One this season it's really hard to put them all in this table but Portsmouth for me are one of the teams that will definitely make the top six I think they could really really threaten the top two next season I think like I say with the Cowleys with the players they've got with the fan base with the well-run club itself I think Portsmouth will be a force next season in League One now next up we've got Accrington Stanley now these are the teams that I believe beat Portsmouth on the final day to deny Portsmouth that place in the playoffs. Now, Accrington, for me, they've obviously been in League One a couple of years now. They're just uh, they're a really hard team to predict. And I'm sorry, Accrington fans. I'm going to say you're going to finish in the bottom four because I really don't know where they're going to finish, to be honest. They really could surprise me. I really am sorry, Accrington fans. You could surprise me and finish a bit higher than that. But... I really don't know. They are a well-run club. They're a bit like Fleetwood. They're a small club that are punching above their weight. But I'm going to say Accrington will finish in the bottom four. I don't think it was the best season last year. I think they were okay. But this year, I think they're going to fall through the trap door. Now, next up, you've got AFC Wimbledon. Now, this is a club that some people might put in the bottom four. But I'm going to say they just survived. I really like AFC Wimbledon. I like the journey that their fans have been on, to be honest. I don't like that their club was robbed from them, but I like how they've built up Wimbledon again, and uh, I really do hope AFC Wimbledon 
get to the championship one day because you know they're good fans down in London and uh, yeah they really do deserve it for what they've been through. Uh, I think it'll be a hard season. They do just about keep surviving in League One. They don't seem to be a team that are pushing on too much, but I don't think they've got too much money and too much backing. But I think they will survive. I think it'll be another hard season, but Wimbledon to survive for me. They could do one better. They could make mid-table, but I'll say 16th to 20th. Now next up you've got Gillingham Football Club, a team that really surprised me last season. I think they stormed up towards mid-table in the end last season. I think I'm going to put them in mid-table, but I do think they could do better than that. I think, uh, like I say, this is really hard with the amount of good quality clubs and teams you've got in this division. It's really hard to spread them all out. So I think Gillingham for me, I'm going to say mid-table for now. I might change my prediction next month. I could say they could do one better, but they ended the season last year really strong, and I think they finished around 10th, so I'm going to say mid-table for Gillingham, but they could do one better. Now next up, Charlton Football Club, another club that just missed out on the playoffs last year. This season, though, I think they will make it. I think they're a bit unlucky, really, a bit like Portsmouth. They missed out on the final day, I believe, but uh, this year I think they will make the top six. A massive club, the biggest London club in this division, and they're one of my favourite London clubs, to be honest, Charlton, because they're not a London club that have got loads of money like your Arsenal's, your Spurs, your Chelsea. They're a proper London club with proper London fans, and uh, yeah, we've seen over the years they've been in and out of the Championship, so this season I think they will make the top six, and uh, I really hope they do, because I do like Charlton. Next up, we've got Lincoln City. Now, obviously, they did make the playoffs last year, and they were a bit unlucky. Obviously, they lost in the playoff final to Blackpool in the end. They obviously went one up through that own goal, and then Blackpool turned the game on its head. I think they were just, like I say, a bit unlucky because they came up against a really informed Blackpool team. But it was a really good season, nonetheless, for Lincoln last year. I think they'll be solid again next year. I'm going to say top 12. I'm willing to take a bit of criticism for that because I think they could make the top six again. They were really, really good, especially at the start of last season. I genuinely thought at the start they were going to get automatic promotion, but they just kind of fell away. But I think they're going to make the top 12. I think Lincoln are a real force, and they've got a good fan base as well. Next up, we've got MK Dons. Hmm, this is tricky. I'm going to say mid-table. I don't really know where to place MK Dons. I think they could be higher, but they could be lower. I think they were roughly mid-table last year, so I'll put them in the similar position. A club with potential, again, they have got a big stadium, some uh, some decent players as well, and uh, on their day, they can beat any team in this division. But MK Dons, I'll say mid-table, but they could finish anywhere. Next up, Ipswich Town. Now, this one for me is one of the hardest ones because they are obviously a big club. But since they've come down from the championship, they've been a really strange team in League One. Obviously, their first season, they were absolutely fantastic for half a season. It looked like they were nailed on to win the league. And then they completely collapsed. And then, in the end, they finished outside the playoffs. Last year, they finished just outside the playoffs again. But they are a big club, and they have got potential. And if they can have a good summer and recruit correctly, they could definitely make the top six. So, I will give it to Ipswich. I'm going to say they make the top six. I think some people might say... I'm a bit mad for doing that because obviously in the last couple of seasons they haven't made the top six. But I think it is a matter of time before Ipswich do make the top six and I think it will be next season. Now next up you've got Doncaster Rover, a club that are obviously a decent club. They've got some decent players. Now in the last couple of seasons they have been knocking on the doors of the playoffs but not quite getting in there. And last season they did seem to fade away towards the end and I think they finished about 14th. So I don't know if they're going to go through a bit of a transition now because obviously Darren Moore's gone and... I'm not sure what, what kind of direction Doncaster are going to go in as a club. I don't think they'll be relegated or anything like that, but I'm going to actually predict them to have a bit of a poor season. So I'm going to put Doncaster down in 16th to 20th. I probably will get a bit of criticism for that. Uh, next up, you've got Morecambe Football Club. Now, they obviously came up through the League 2 playoffs. Fair play to them. They beat Newport. Now, they're going to be the club that everyone writes off this season. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to join that brigade where I think they probably just will get relegated. But, like I say, the clubs that have come up from League 2, they could all prove us wrong. They could all stay up. They could all go down. They're a bit unpredictable. I'm just going to put Morecambe to go down, but I'm willing to be proved wrong. Morecambe could surprise a few people next season. Next up, Shrewsbury Town. I'm going to say the same for them, to be honest. I think... They're going to get relegated. I think I predicted them to get relegated last season and obviously they stayed up. But I don't know with Shrewsbury Town. They seem to be a funny team yet again. I'm just going to back them to get relegated this season. I think they finished 17th last year, which isn't too bad. But I don't know with Shrewsbury. I feel like they could be a team that could get relegated. Uh, next up, you've got Rotherham United. Now for me, this is one of the easier ones. They definitely make the top six. Now, they're not the biggest club in this division, but for me, they are one of the best when it comes to getting promoted. They obviously usually do get promoted to the Championship and then come back down. They seem to be a bit of a yo-yo club in recent years between League One and the Championship. But whenever they are in League One, they seem to be just a bit too strong for it. And uh, 
If they keep the manager, if they keep the players, I think they will be too strong and they will make the top six again next year, Rotherham. Now, last up is our final club, Wickham Wanderers. I'm going to say they make the top 12. Now, last year in the Championship, Wickham were a strange team. They got off to a really slow start, and then towards the end, they really did rally. And if the season had gone on just a couple more weeks, they probably could have stayed up. They really did hit some form. Now, if they keep Gareth Ainsworth, if they keep some good players, they could be a force in League One next year. They did surprise a few people by getting promoted, but I'm going to put them in the top half and say they could make the playoffs, but they could finish lower than that. So then, guys, that wraps up this predictions video. That is my early predictions for the 21-22 season in League One. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.